Hi brothers and sisters, welcome to the edition. Um, today I just want to let you guys in on something that seems very small but I think is such a big and profound lesson um, that I want you guys to include in your excuse me in your prayer life um, and that is that you should be specific in your prayers and your requests to God you should be specific in your prayers and requests to God why do I say this I'm going to use what seems like a very earthly material example but this is where I learned this lesson okay so uh, back in the days uh, you know when you come out of varsity and you're about to get a job I used to always see people uh, when they're about to pay pulling out that black card and I wanted a black card so badly like I wanted a black card like I would go on the banking website and search how much one needs to earn to um, qualify for a private banking and you know it was a lot of money but I wanted it it was just always this big desire I, I wanted fast um, fast forward I had a business and um, unbeknown to me one of the business owners in the industry so like a colleague in the industry what what happened is that I guess a private banker was handling his things and he asked him for a referral like anybody who he thinks would be interested and I, I promise you I didn't know he was doing this he mentioned me so this private banker came through um, told me what I needed the documents I needed to provide and I was now part of private banking I had the black card I was so exact like I was really 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 happy okay anyway the business that wasn't doing well and um, history 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 at some point I was not working as you guys know and I remember one day I was holding this black card I'm holding this black card and all it is to me is a plastic a plastic that is black and I sat there thinking of all the things I could have wanted or asked for why did I ask for a black card instead of asking for say for example a salary or a profit enough for me to be to be able to 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 qualify to have a, a black card I don't know if that makes sense so I wanted a black card that was the end result but I did I wasn't specific and say God I want to be able to earn enough to be able to to qualify for private banking and therefore have a black card meaning me holding that black card will represent the money that is in my account so when that happened ever since then I've been very specific when I go to the Lord so what I'm trying to say is that as right now you are waiting on the Lord I don't know if you're waiting for a house you're waiting for the Lord to give you a car a new car for the Lord to give you a job go to the Lord and say God I'm trusting you for the house but father God I, I would like this house to always have food like there should always be food in the fridge right I want to be able to have the money the means of maintaining the house so that it doesn't uh, fall apart if it's a job I want to have good colleagues I want to have a boss that motivates me um, I don't know what your situation is for example me being a single mother I would say I want to be in a work environment that promotes family that will allow me to go and watch my, my, my son's swimming lessons and go to recitals I want a car that I will never have to be crying to fill up the petrol in it or take it for service or I don't want a car that will be breaking down left right and center I don't know if you are going to God and saying God I want a brand new car I want a paid up car be specific and as you are as you are being specific with the Lord about this thing that you want imagine it being like um, going on 
on online shopping and you are adding things to the cart as you are waiting on the Lord to fulfill this thing imagine him as, as almost going down that list um, saying okay she put um, a good relations at work I am uh, out of all the jobs here I am looking for one that takes this so he then puts good relations at work in the in the cart if he, he is taking long like just imagine oh god must today be taking care of the finances to maintain the house um it might seem trivial but it also helps in the waiting process this is something that um sometimes when you are waiting you tend to forget but on the other side when you are living in the promise the last thing you want is to f uh, to 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 or the, sorry the promise the blessing or this thing you've been waiting on the Lord for the last thing you want is to to feel like it's a burden to you to feel like oh since I got this house or since I got this car my life has been so miserable go to him tell him the desires of your heart he is your father and he listens okay he listens to your requests so my brother and sister yes it's a simple principle but it really really makes a difference um, so as you are waiting go to the Lord and add those things in the cut the details of what you want then one day you will look back and say God gave me exactly what I asked for in the mighty name of our Savior Jesus Christ amen